very busy day. Um, and then later on, I'm going to be on Lil Wayne, my brother Lil Wayne's podcast. Um, I'm going to be on his vibe. I think that's around 7.45. I just wanted to check in with the fan love real quick. See what y'all up to. Let me see what the vibe is up. See what the vibe is out there. Because sometimes you got to see what the vibe. Man. Where I'm at right now, the weather is unbelievable. Nah, it really is. It really is unbelievable. Check in with the fans real quick. You know what I'm saying? Just checking in with everybody. You know what I'm saying? It's the weekend. It's officially the weekend. Um, I'm just chilling. Shout out to Salt Bay. I was kicking with Salt. But I think yesterday or the day before, the day before, I'm gonna get Salt Bay to come on my live and start cutting that. Guys, gonna be fun. I'm gonna get him on here. I push connect with somebody. I don't know who it is, but it's saying and waiting. See what the vibe is. Let me trust somebody else. It ain't gonna work. Hold on. Monica, Monica, just ease, you know. I've been working today. I I put in a I put in some work today. Like I've been working. I been working. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Uh, let's see what the vibe is. Let's see, let's see who on here for no reason. We're just going. I'm not even like. I'm just going through. I'm just put, picking anybody I want to buy. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. It's Angie Martinez. What's she talking about? Angie Martinez on the check-in. That's big. Let's see if she connect. This ain't if she does connect. Yo, Angie. Yo! How did you know I was in here? I went and checked. Um, you know, I'll be hitting my little view thing and then I seen your name. I'm like, let me check, you know what I'm saying? And like, guys, this ain't even I didn't even know she was checking in. This ain't no just, interview to everybody. Just, this is not an interview. This is a check-in. This, 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 this is my new interview. fan love me. Yeah. No, this is not an interview. And the craziest shit is that I've been, you've been on my mind so crazy. I texted you yesterday. I don't know if you saw that. I, I seen it. Yesterday. I seen it yesterday. You know, I texted you. That was an old text you replied back. I was like, oh. From my accident when I was in the yes. accident. Yes. You hit me. You know I'll be, you know be checking in. No, and I love you for that. But I didn't see it till yesterday, and, I, and you had been on my mind. I was like, yo, I hit you. And then just now I put my phone on. I saw you were live. I was like, let me see what Khaled's up to. And then no, I saw no, you requested me. I was your, like, all right. I'm you're Angie. crazy. Angie, you look like you, know, it look like you got fly glasses on everything. Well, you, you, you at home? I'm home. This is how you do it at home like this? This I'm home. <laughs> you look, no, it look like you're about to go out. That's what, no, I'm saying. Look at, <laughs> okay, no, you look like you're ready. It's like. Well, that's beautiful. That's great to know that at home. So at least your your husband. So you so you you look like this when you out and at home. Many as if you look like you're ready to go out. I mean, I did have some meetings. I had some Zoom call meetings. Okay. So I, okay. I, I, I put my hair in the ponytail or whatever. But no, because because I, I, I be looking, I be looking. You see, I'm I'm, I'm not, I never had hair oh, about me. Oh, you're going real face. grizzly. You're going real. Yeah. You're going real grizzly with it. Yo, how's the baby? Yo, since I got. I, 
amazing. Like, he, he like, um, he's so cool. He's so, like, uh, three months old. And they said, the doctor said that he like a five month weight, like weight of a five month and like height of a five month. And he's only three months. He's so cute. No, he's unbelievable. He's unbelievable. I can't um, wait to see him. I want to squeeze his face. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Asad, <laughs> Asad, he, um, he loved being a big brother. Oh. He loved it, like, kisses That's him. Good. That's oh, good. Oh, he wakes him. up. Yeah, he's on it. He's on How you been? How's, how's the quarantine life? Quarantine life is like everybody else. You know, one day I feel inspired. I feel creative. I want to do a bunch of shit. And then some days I feel freaked out. I don't know what's happening in the world. And then, yeah, you know, me cool. too. But, the truth is I'm, you know, I'm still recovering from the accident. I'm not really all the way good. So that's all of that. It's all of that. So, it's so, so you, you still doing like therapy and stuff like that? I mean, thank I God. Was, you look at, what I was, I was trying to say earlier is you look amazing. Just because I know you've been through the accident. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm real. being real. Like, it was very real. She I know real. it's real. So I'm Nicole real. knows. So you, I was hitting Nicole. I was hitting Nicole about it. She knows some of the stuff I was going through. She knows how tough it was. Yeah. But yeah, when I, when I got the news, I, I I was texting you, just checking in, even though I knew you was, you know, going through a lot. I just, want, yeah, when, I just wanted you to see, you know what I'm saying? Because I know, I mean, I don't know what you went through, but I, in my heart, I, you're my sister. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I, love you, I was just wanting to show you my love, and, and thank God you're good. You know what I'm saying? I know you're still going through it and getting better by the day, but thank God you're good. Thank you know God, is, God is the greatest. God yes, is the greatest. Yes, he is. How, how, how's well, how the about- king? Wait, wait, how about our brother Jopra? So how about... <laughs> yo, Jopra, listen, Angie, Jopra is like... I saw you on Jopra. I, I watched your interview on Jopra. Yeah, Jopra. I, I mean, me, we're going to do a part two interview on Jopra. You know what I'm saying? Because with me and Joe, we could talk for hours. We got too many stories. I know. Um, too many great moments. Um, and I'm just, I'm just, yo, I love his show. I really love his show. Jopra... Because you know, Joe, you know, Joe, he's the best at telling stories. No, dude, he's the great. We've known that for twenty years. Buddy. So when when you gonna be on Jopra? When you gonna be on Jopra? Well, he called me. Uh, Lorena called me the other day and was like, "Joe wants you to hop on," but I had just got out the shower. I was like, "I can't hop on right because I need five minutes notice, at least five minutes notice." He gave me no notice, so I don't know. Whenever he wants me to go, I'll go back. Well, to, I didn't know he was yeah. doing this right now. You just hit me. I was like, oh, "Okay." No, right, listen. Okay. There's a lot of big offers going for a show. No, I know because it's he's like good. a bidding really war. Good. It's a bidding war. It's, it's a bidding war for Chopra. No, as it should be, by the way. You know the thing about our brother? He is a hustler, and he will oh, always yeah. find a way, and he will always oh, yeah. figure out how to stay relevant and stay active. Of course. And gifts to, so that so I'm not surprised at all by it. By the way, are you, are you going to um you go to the station? Or you working at your house? Uh, a little, well, mostly at the house. So I'm not, I'm, I have a whole setup here, so I just do my... I so do you my can just do the whole thing, right? Yeah, I just do it from here. I just finished, actually. I just finished today's show, and then um, and then I do some Zoom meetings, and I try to walk a little bit and make sure I get outside with my mask on, and shit. So, like, you, so you, so you, you, you back walking and everything. You just got to do, like, exercise and that, right? For yes. Your, I was, like, the back physical... All that. Yeah, you have to do, like, physical therapy and shit like that. But that, they, um... They closed all the, the place I was going. They closed everything's down. So I'm out here dolo trying to figure out how to get, how to be, you know, I'm, it's, it's a process. Yes. Anybody out there, anybody out there, I'll tell you. And, you know, when I was in the hospital, I got a call from Kevin Hart. And I didn't really understand it in the moment because I was on a lot of drugs. But Kevin was like, this is more of a going to be more than a physical. It's like a mental, mental challenge of this is way tougher than the physical challenge. And I didn't understand it in the moment but anybody out there who's been through like a bad accident or just anything super challenging it really meant you yeah you're right that mind is powerful the mind is so powerful so i try not i just try to stay positive and 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 be nice to myself i have a bad day then i just be like all right you know crying to myself and today i was in angie martinez mode i did a um i hosted a whole um well i well today was like kind of like sound check um it's crazy i'm working out my house so i did um i'm hosting tomorrow um rock nation and ac milan um in italy milan they're doing like a big show like a Mm -hmm. big show like the global citizen show they did you know Mm -hmm. what i'm saying but they're doing one in uh, milan with ac milan and rock nation 
and I'm the host. So I was in Angie Martinez mode on another level today. I love like, that. It makes me happy. Yeah, you know what and, else, and, wait, you know what but, else I love that you do? I love when you show, like you posted those old footage from Jamaica. You posted the old footage from Jamaica and you posted some old pitch, old DJing sessions that you were doing at some spots. And yeah. I love when you do that because I, I know that Khaled. A lot of us know yeah. that Khaled. But do you know yeah. some of the new, you got a lot of new fans now that, they don't really understand the grind that you put in and the actual talent. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you're, yeah, you're yeah, yeah. people forget that you yeah. actually, you were a crazy, you yeah. know, crazy DJ. You're not just the, you know, yeah. the ambassador and the social media god, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you actually, your crap, it, it mattered first and foremost. And of I course. Love when, I love when you post those things. So I think it reminds people that. I think that's Yeah, I want to, I want to, um, I'm actually working on like a, uh, like a, a special type of documentary just about, as you know, it's going to take some time, but we're going to do like, you know, I would love to get an interview from you. Like I'm, I'm building the team now, the team. Like I haven't really officially started, but we're building a team that actually, like I'm writing everybody down. Obviously, you're, you're somebody that I want them to talk to, but I'm also just digging up old footage, you know what I'm saying, as much as I can. But mm -hmm. like, you know, um, you know, on the Jamaica side, of, you know, I'm, I'm pulling up footage from them and then I'm trying to find like, old footage from back in the days from, you know, even like, um, you know, when I was at Hot 97 DJing or, you know, DJing 99 Jams or DJing at um, Club Privé in Miami or, you know, um, just Jack the Rapper when I used to go to the Jack the Rapper convention. My Jack the Rapper. Yeah, I, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to pull up everything. Um, I'm trying to call all promoters um, or old video uh, photographers and all that and just try to get all the footage. So I could put a great piece of masterpiece together and, and give it to the fans. You know what I'm saying? I love that. It's gonna be it, you gotta do one too. Whatever you want, you know whatever. No, you no, want. come on. You gotta you gotta do an Angie Martinez documentary. Oh, that's so funny. Somebody just hit me about that very recently. No, you I gotta do, do that. I know. I got stories to I got stories <laughs> to tell. You know what I'm doing right now, Kelly? I'm writing. This is like a new thing for me. Like, you know, I wrote my book. I mean, I had some help in terms of formatting and things like that, but yeah, of course. I've been writing. I've been writing like um, scripts and ideas and form and stuff like that. So I'm in the process. We want of the we want the Angie Martinez TV show, um, and we want it to be the number one rated TV show in the world, which I, I know you. it would be. So whoever, whoever, I mean, I'm sure you got tons of stuff in the works, but I just, I just know, I need to see. The Angie Martinez TV show, which the one you had, which the one we did together. That oh, we special. did uh, Untold Stories, the Untold Stories of Hip Hop. That was like a yeah. special thing that I did. That was special, week. but I'm saying is, I want to see, like, speaking of Jopra, like Oprah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Wendy yeah. Williams, you know what I'm saying? Angie Martinez. You know, all <laughs> these shows, I want that Angie Martinez show. Trust me, I'm trying to. Fit. I'm. I'm working. I'm working on some things. So I'm going to consult you, by the way, on all those things. I mean, I'm going to be on the show, but I'm saying I just know it's going to be a legendary show. I know it's going to have legendary guests, and I know it's going to be incredible. And I, I and 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 after we get over this pandemic, I think we should. You should start. You've been probably working on it already, but I'm saying, but right now is the time. Let, let's have these big conversations because when we get out this pandemic. Whatever we doing, we got to do things bigger than better and greater than we ever did in our whole life. Oh, my like, God. Like even if, no, no, I promise you. Like, we can't go out after this pandemic doing the same thing. There's no way we could do it. Me, you, anyone. Because this shit too real. Right? It's this so real. real. <laughs> it's Look, too can real. I tell you something? That... Can, I, can I tell you go something? Ahead, what you're saying to me right now? Yeah. Somebody, somebody offered me something today, right? It was a business offer that would was a very nice one, but it was not in line with the greatness that I see for myself moving forward, right? It just wasn't. I had to take a chance. I have to take a chance and risk because I feel you. I feel like I don't want to come out of this doing things that I don't feel, I don't love, I don't feel passionate. Yeah, I don't feel yeah, you like do, yeah. I want to sh do shit that moves me. And because who knows? We all know, we all learn from this. Life is not promised. Tomorrow, what I know for sure is because I don't almost lost my life a few months ago, that life, we don't know if we're here next year, next month. So if we don't come out of here and do everything that we vision for ourselves, then we played ourselves. Then we, when yeah. we're, when we, we missed the message. No, we have to, we, have we, to, I mean, we got to protect our babies, our kids and the, you know, the young world, the young world is the, um, 
is going to run the world. You know what I'm saying? And then yeah. as far as uh, everybody out there listening, when I say we got to do bigger and better and greater things, basically what I'm trying to say is like we sitting down, um, we stay creative, and, and overcoming this is a major accomplishment. Yeah. Overcoming this pandemic, which we will with God's protection. But as far as our careers as entrepreneurs and uh, just you could be an athlete. You could be a student in college. We still have to be bigger and better and greater after this yeah. pandemic. I know for a fact that's all I've been thinking sure. of. I've been thinking, um, you know, I've been working on new music. I've been, I've been thinking of more creative ways to do things. Um, I've been thinking of more creative ways to, 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 to talk to my fans. Obviously, like with IG Live, you know, he's my new fan love meetup now. So I do it on my IG Live. Fan and love, then, uh, what's up? Yeah. So you know, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just focused, like. I'm focused, and I'm going to tell you one thing. The only, I mean, the positive thing that I'm dealing with right now is me enjoying family time. I'm not going to lie. We're having a ball, like, at the house, me and Nicole. It makes me happy for you. When I see you on Instagram with your two sons, and Nicole looks happy, and she looks, by the way, she looks amazing for just having a baby. Yeah, she, she snapped like, back. Her belt, <laughs> belt's back is great. She, now she told me, she, goes, she always reminds me, she goes, you see how I do? I'm back at it the next day. Like my body, it's true, yeah, and I'm like, ma, yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah, ma, you're focused. beautiful, you're beautiful either way. I love you, you know what I'm saying? But, um, she focusing, you know, we blessed, Angie, we blessed, we safe, you know what I'm saying? We, you know, yeah, thank yeah, God yeah. we healthy, and you know what I'm saying? We miss you, you know what I'm saying? I miss you too, I miss you guys too. I cannot wait to see the baby, I'm so happy for you. I really, I'm both, both of them, and aside, of course, I love you. Nah, I appreciate it, I appreciate it. I love you, man. I'm glad you, I'm glad you accepted my. My um, I don't what, know a what, nice, what a nice surprise! I was just going to get a glass of wine. Now this was a nice little. <laughs> this is perfect. Nah, no, but you, I, I, when you go on Joper's show, let me know. I know he's going to promote it when you end up on there, but I, I got to see that one. No, uh, Angie listen. Martin, a Joe you know, Crack interviewing Angie. That's going to be a good one. Yes, for sure. I'm going to be on the Joper show. I'm waiting for him to invite me officially. Nah, it's anytime. Hit me. I love Good you. To see your face. I love you, baby. Be safe. All right. All right. Bless up. Love. Bye, guys. Bye, fan Bye. love. <laughs> Yo, shout out Angie Martinez, man. Like, I swear, I don't even know. Like, I'm going through my view button, and I see Angie, so I push the button. Shout out Angie taking time talking to us. You know what I'm saying? That's love. Angie, my sister. Angie Martinez, Um, first of all, she's one of the biggest radio personalities ever to do it. Angie Martinez is one of the biggest radio personalities 